Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from Paradise, also known as Southern Wyoming, where we're in the snowy range right now at Little Brooklyn Lake. Now, this is a super small lake. Some would call it a large pond. We liked it because the access is tremendous. You can literally drive right up to the shoreline, park yourself on the dam, and enjoy fishing. Now, when we started fishing here, it was one of those days where there were like 20 kids next to us, a couple of retired folks, some guys fly fishing, walking and waiting, and then there was us. Got him, dude. That brookie snaked it from under the rainbow. Oh my gosh, that was sick. That was so cool. Oh my God. What am I gonna do? Oh my God, he's taking me to the tree. Nice brookie, dude. Oh, it's a... Is that a... Looks like it could be a split. I don't know, one or the other. Dude, I got a nice brook trout already. First I got a cast. nice brook trout already, dude. I was, I was rigging up my fire bait rod, got bit right away. Oh, it's a really decent one, too. Heck yeah. Oh! <clears throat> dude, that's a cutty. That's a cutthroat. It's a cutty. Check out this cutthroat trout. You can see the orange on his underside here. Look at that, really nice fish. I'm gonna let him go. Got something, I don't know what it is. They're biting good, they're biting good. Oh, it's another cutty. Yes, another cutty. They wanted to go over what I was doing and what I was catching my fish on. The cutthroats were going crazy here, a couple brookies in the mix. Um, premium red top eggs under a float, crushing it. Used a little bit of uh, garlic salmon egg fire bait, got some on that as well. Um, and basically for a majority of the time, I was running it under a float. I like these Potsky fire floats because they're, they're finesse, they're small. The trout don't feel that when they bite and pull it under. If you use a big float, and they start to bite, if they feel it, they might drop your bait. So I always recommend using the smallest, lightest tackle possible. I've got a four pound test fluorocarbon leader. Okay, and that goes to a size 14 Potski fire hook. And I'm just putting on one or two eggs at a time. Take a couple out there. And I wanna show you this like I always like to. That tiny hook's crucial. If you use anything bigger, you'll get less bites. Honestly, you'll even you'll even blow up these eggs if you use too big of a hook. So the light wire hook is key. And that's kind of what's killing them today for these cutthroats. Oh my gosh, it was instant. What do you guys use? Eggs. Salmon eggs. Salmon eggs. Oh, dude, it's a nice fish. Yeah, nice fish too. Yeah, we've been catching some nice ones. Dude! I think it's another cutty. <laughs> cutty. You been eating? Another cutthroat. Premium eggs under a float. Really respectable size. There he is. I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> no way. What do I got? What do I got? Another. Rainbow. Oh, no, no, no. Look at the cuts. What is it? That oh. is an incredible looking trout. What? It's a cutthroat. Yeah. That is awesome. Wow. Clearly that's a cutthroat. Wow. Look at the colors. Welcome to the high country. Look at the red. Yep. All right, I want to quickly cover the garlic salmon egg fire bait. I did catch one on bottom, but I did convert it to a float setup. And the only difference between the egg rig and this is that I put a split shot really close to the hook. And that's because it's a floating bait and I want it to get down. Uh, it's just nice to catch them on floats because they don't swallow the bait. So you just get a little finger part of it. And what you got to do is roll it up in your fingers. And it comes out to be a small little egg sized ball. And the hook, pretty small compared to the bait. Size 14 fire hook. Hook it on there like an egg. Whoops. And you just fire it out there. Dude, I was checking to see if my fire bait got cleaned and he hit me reeling in. Oh my God, dude, this is crazy. 
He hit me reeling in. <laughs> what is going on, dude? The cutthroats are on fire. <laughs> what the heck is it's a that's nice the, one. That's the best cutthroat of the day so far, too. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Wow, look at this. Every cast, folks. Snuckle. Through the storm. Still getting them. Nice cutthroat. This one has good colors. Yeah. Really cool colors, dude. These lakes up here are enjoyed by just about everybody. What was real interesting to us is we literally caught 30 or 40 fish here in a couple hours. But when you look at the stocking reports, Wyoming Game and Fish does not stock a ton of trout here. If you look back for the last, oh gosh, since 2018, they only stock about 500 cutthroats a year. Okay, 2021, they averaged eight inches. They averaged eight inches almost every single year. Now, if you're fishing in 2022, get ready. They put 500 10 and a half inch cutthroats in here. Regardless, we caught many different species in here. We caught rainbows. We even found some brooks. We found cutthroats. Now, what was interesting is Big Brooklyn is just up the road. They're now stocking goldens in there. We didn't catch any of those, but they can get here via the creek that runs between the two streams. The good news is there's a lot of trout in here. There's a lot of reproduction that must be going on because we caught many small fish and some that were, you know, 10, 11 inches. There's just a different, you know, size range available here. Now, this started off to be an incredible day. Beautiful day. We did very, very well. And then all of a sudden, Mother Nature showed up. There was a 0% chance of rain when we looked before we left Laramie that morning and the skies exploded. By exploded, it rained thunder and lightning and hail for almost three and a half hours. Now, I stayed in the car. During that time when I saw the lightning, Jarrett, he put his rain gear on and went outside. He just wanted to catch more fish. Now, all of our fish today, most of which were cutthroat, you know, Jarrett did catch rainbows and brooks while I was hiding in the car from the lightning, came on two different baits, okay? He caught them on premium salmon eggs, that red lid, you guys have seen them for decades upon decades. And then he used garlic salmon egg fire bait. Both those did very, very well. Now remember, very small lake, very good family lake. It's just one of those places that basically shows you what the snowies are all about. Small lakes, small fish, beautiful fish, world-class scenery. And if you get lucky like we did, you'll see moose walking around around here. Come with a good attitude, light tackle, small hooks, light line and you'll have a fantastic time out here fishing in the snow. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're gonna show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.